Saturday night is about the Cats. Back home for the first time this year. Unfurling the flag, basking still. This is a white hot start for Geelong. In Premiership glory. Every single thing is rolling here for the Cats. But Saturday night is also about these swans. Humiliated on the sport's biggest stage. They have blown the swans away. A summer of discontent followed. It'll take a bit of time to get over. Just the reality of it. We're just bugging it up today. They can move on from September 24 last year, but they'll never forget it. Cats fans, stand up to your full height. So what happens next? When they meet again. It is the highlight of Super Saturday, the grand final rematch in Geelong. And how fitting it is the two grand finalists meeting when the Cats unfurl their flag. Fitting or perhaps borderline cruel that the Swans have to witness that. Let's head, Burns, yeah, it'll burn. Let's yeah. head to Geelong where Tom Atkins has been good enough to join us. Tom, thanks so much for your time on 360+. Plus. How special of an occasion is this going to be Saturday night at the Cattery? Yeah, it'll be massive. Um, just getting back in front of the in front of the fans, the home crowd, uh, will be awesome. Um, had had some of my best memories uh, as a Geelong player at that ground. So um, yeah, we're all looking forward to to getting there in, in front of uh, in front of Geelong. So I'm told that the flag presentation will occur at around 6:40. I'm not sure what your pre-game routine is then, but will you go out and have a sneak peek? No, no, I don't think we're we're uh, allowed. I think we're um, we'll be right into the midst of our prep then. So um, might have to watch it back on the TV later. <laughs> Hang on. So I'm get, get this right. You will unfurl the flag, and you guys aren't allowed out there for it. Oh, that's what I'm told. Anyway, I, I don't know. Maybe we um, <laughs> we can uh, fix that up before the night. Um, but yeah, that, that's all right. We'll uh, we're we're on to. Uh, bigger and better things this year anyway. So, um, yeah, we better focus on getting the job done. Oh, mate, mate, it's a great moment. You stand opposite the other guys, you unfurl the flag which you took away from them and they want to kill you. And you've just got to stand there and stare at them. You're going to miss out on this on this life <laughs> moment. Yeah, well, that's all right. I'll be, uh, I'll be pretty worried about doing my job. So, um, yeah, and what good about, for you guys, though. What about your job this year? Um you still, your stats are still fairly high. You, you, I think you're around the 17 mark. You're still getting clearances. And like it, has your role changed a little bit? You're still tackling heavy. That, that's natural to you. But uh, has your role changed a little? Stats a bit high. That's pretty kind of you, Derm. Um, <laughs> yeah, no, I, I'm, I'm still playing the same role as last year. Um, just that sort of defensive-minded mid. Um, yeah, with the... Obviously, still looking to impact uh, offensively as well, but um, yeah, we're we're pretty much the same core group in there. We had Tanner um, come through um, in the early games; he was awesome. Um, but yeah, it's it's for the most part, um, you know, we've got Blitz and, and Guth still playing a similar role in there. So um, yeah, look, we're just trying to get back to the to the form we had last year. I think we've um, yeah we've been a bit inconsistent to the start of the year, but um, yeah, look, we're, we're starting to find our find our feet, and hopefully, we can continue that. Sadly. How far off do you think you are of finding that form of last year, two and three after the first five rounds? Yeah, I think we've shown patches. Um, obviously, we've had a good quarter here and there. Um, yeah, it's, it's interesting. It's it's tough because each week you, you come up against a new team and, and there's new challenges. So, um, yeah, look, hopefully this weekend we can put, um, you know, a more consistent performance together. But, um, you know, it's going to be really tough against Sydney. Um, they're always a, a tough game and... Um, yeah, we're looking forward to it. We're just excited that, um, you know, we get another week um, to, to get back to the way we, we want to be playing. If I mention the words first and take them out of your mouth and don't say, oh, we'll all get a chance, who's going to uh, take on Chad Warner? He's in pretty reasonable nick at the moment. Yeah, he's going well, Chad. Um, yeah, had a good game on the weekend. Um, well, I'm going to say what you said. We're, we all sort of take our turn in there. Um, yeah, it's just going to be a group approach. Um, hopefully we can wear him down. Um, he's obviously uh, a great talent. Um, and, yeah, we're looking looking forward to trying to nullify him. But, um, yeah, there's plenty of other good um, midfielders in there as well that we've got to worry about. So, um, yeah, it'll be, it'll be good. We'll, we'll all pitch in. 
Tom, thanks for your time tonight. Enjoy watching back the unfurling of the flag whenever you get the chance to do so. And good luck uh, with the game on Saturday night. No worries, guys. Thanks, Tommy. Tommy, before you go, I noticed you before. You were looking off screen. <laughs> Have you got somebody there? Oh, no, nah, it's just trying my dog, to get him. Your dog? Nah. What's your dog's name? Oh, the dog's name's Peggy. Yeah, so no, no kids yet. So, well, grab Peggy because Robbo's <laughs> not with us. He's at home and he's got a couple of dogs, Elvis and Knackers, I think, or something <laughs> like that. Can your dog send a cheerio to Robbo's dog down the line? No. If you want, here she is. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, Peggy. Peggy's cute. Peggy's beautiful. Yeah, Peggy. she is cute, yeah. Peggy deserves the airtime. I'll let you go now, Tom. Derm, we'll let him go now. All right. Thanks, Tom. <laughs> Thanks, Tom. <laughs> no worries, guys. See ya. <laughs> Cheers, mate.